G'day everyone. Um, I'm actually going to review something a little bit different today. I'm going to review the Profoto B10, but this is Rebecca. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her Instagram uh, feed underneath so you can actually uh, follow her on Instagram because she really does have a, a great Instagram feed there. So please, uh, if you can, give her a big thumbs up on Instagram and follow her there. She'd really appreciate that. Um, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to try a couple of different things with you. I'm actually going to use the Sony A7 with the Tamron 28 to 75, and I may also use the 70 to 200 as well. But um, I'm also going to review the new Pro Photo Light that's just come out, the B10. Uh, so we're going to have a look at how that functions today. And I'm going to try a couple of different things. Uh, we may not be able to use the uh, continuous light due to the fact that it's daylight. I might have to try that in another shoot. But I'm going to try a couple of different diffusers. I'm going to start off with this two foot octa and we're going to see how that goes. And then later on when we're trying to overpower the sun uh, down by the river, I'm going to use the magnum reflector as well. So we're going to try a couple of different things today. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes with TTL uh, through the Sony system. Uh, I have got the Sony Air remote. Now you can also control this completely through your iPhone as well, this light, uh, and we'll have a look at how that sort of functions now. And you can see that it works very, very quick when you're looking at it. Uh, the interface is really great. You can even control the actual continuous lighting as well through this, uh, including the color as well. So not only can you uh, control the actual intensity, but you can also control the actual temperature as well at the same time. So what we'll do now, we'll go through a shoot, uh, check how the TTL works, and we'll move on from there. Lovely, high five. All right, so what I'm gonna do, the, the great part with these is the reflectors are very easy to put on. Basically, they just slide in. So you just put it on like that and slide it down to where you want the reflector to go, and then you just lock it on the side. And that's really all there is to this. Uh, and it should basically work straight away. Okay, so what we've got now here, um, I've actually got, um, I'm using the A7 III and I'm using the Tamron uh, actually on this. Uh, so I thought I'd try using this lens. Now, basically what I'm going to do, I've got it in manual and I'm on 1 25th of a second at f 2.8 and ISO 160. Now, as usual with Profoto, I'll show you what happens here. If I put this flash on full, you'll probably find it'll be a fraction over and it always is a little bit over with TTL. Uh, uh, and it is just a little bit flashy. So what I'm going to do, I know this is the, just the experience with these flashes. I'm just gonna to go to flash compensation and drop it down to minus one and it should be just about spot on. And let me just check. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good now. So I'm pretty happy with that. I might even go down just a touch more because I, I want to basically make sure that um, it's not too flashy looking. Now I think that's about beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do now is Rebecca's just going to do a few poses. Who am I talking to? Is somebody out there? Should I worry about who is in my head now? I felt your heavy breath through darkness. Smoke is getting close to my bed I cannot make a sound Empty lungs sleeping but oh 